A movement to shift Oregon's borders into what has been called Greater Idaho continues to grow. Alec Nolan spoke with the Lapine man behind the movement to better understand the group's mission. He joins us now with the details. Alec, why does the group want to change borders? Lee, as the group's president, Mike McCarter, told me, it's a difference in values between the northwest region of the state and the rural communities. He says for the past 20 years, they've been fighting for rural Oregonians to have a voice. So now they're taking matters into their own hands. So this river right here, the Deschutes, the other side of it would be Idaho. This side would be Oregon. Mike McCarter, the president of Greater Idaho, has been advocating to shift Oregon's border and become a part of Idaho. We feel in rural Oregon that we're, we're somewhat ignored. But a lot has to fall in place for this concept to become a reality. So the Oregon legislature has got to pick up the discussions and start dealing with the Idaho legislature. And if they can come into an agreement to move the counties out from underneath Oregon's governance and under Idaho's governance, then it goes back to the U.S. Congress for approval. And that's highly unlikely. So many have asked those in the movement, why not just move to Idaho instead? South, East, Central Oregon have a tie to their land. They have a tie to their community, to their families here. And, you know, we can pick up and move to Idaho. That's fine. But wouldn't it be easier as a whole, the way people are voting, just to say, okay, we want to become Idahoans, so let's move the border so that we're there without even having to pick up and go. McCarter says the clash between urban and rural can be fixed, but in Oregon, he feels policies have only gone further in one direction. And that's because 78% of the vote is in northwest Oregon, and that controls the whole state. Seven Oregon counties, including Jefferson, have already voted in favor of their county leaders having to meet to discuss the concept. 62% of voters in the five counties that voted in May were in favor. Here in Central Oregon, the movement is ready to welcome hundreds to attend the August 4th Crook County Court meeting. They plan to confront county commissioners on what they say is their reluctance to put the issue on the November ballot. Harney County will vote this November on the Greater Idaho proposal. Greater Idaho's sister group Move Oregon's Border is still collecting signatures in six other counties, including Curry, Josephine, Douglas, Klamath, Morrow, and Umatilla.